Welcome to this educational program. This module discusses a treatment for BPH, or benign prostatic hyperplasia, called photoselective vaporization of the prostate, or PVP for short. There are other modules available that describe other aspects of BPH. This information is taken from a recent review of the medical literature and attempts to be as transparent and comprehensive as possible. However, it may not necessarily reflect the experience of your healthcare provider or the specifics of your situation. This program is strictly informational in nature and no attempt is made to provide opinion or recommendation. Please feel free to view this presentation as many times as necessary. You may also use the player on your left to repeat slides or to skip through them in any order you wish. The prostate is a chestnut-sized gland situated at the bottom of the urinary bladder, the place where urine is stored. It surrounds a portion of the urethra, the tube that carries urine from the bladder out through the penis. The prostate gland secretes a thin, milky fluid that nourishes and helps activate sperm cells. A man's prostate enlarges as he ages. This common, non-cancerous enlargement of the prostate is called benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH for short. The growing prostate can cause trouble when it tightens around the urethra, obstructing urine flow, impairing bladder emptying, and causing dribbling after urination. It can also cause frequent urgent urination, as well as bothersome nighttime urination. BPH is not life-threatening, but it can be embarrassing, inconvenient, and uncomfortable significantly impacting one's quality of life. Someone with BPH may feel the need to urinate often or suddenly, or experience disrupted sleep due to frequent urination at night. He may strain to begin urinating, or may urinate with a weak stream, and have difficulty completely emptying the bladder. He may even notice leakage or dribbling of urine. Together, these symptoms are referred to as lower urinary tract symptoms, or LUTs. When left untreated, BPH can lead to a total inability to urinate, called acute urinary retention, blood in the urine, bladder damage, bladder stones, urinary tract infection, requirement for catheterization or the insertion of a tube into the penis, requirement for surgery, and even kidney damage. Treating BPH may involve regular monitoring of symptoms, medications that relax the prostate, medications that shrink the prostate, combination therapy using different medications together, heat treatment, needle ablation, radio wave treatment, or surgery. Surgery is recommended for BPH patients who are unable to urinate, who have kidney damage, frequent urinary tract infections, significant urinary bleeding, or bladder stones. Surgery is also recommended when medication fails to satisfactorily relieve urinary symptoms. This, in fact, is the most common reason that surgery is performed. The conventional surgical treatment for BPH is called TURP, or T-U-R-P, which stands for transurethral resection of the prostate. Some surgeons may also use the term TUPR, or T-U-P-R, which stands for transurethral prostatic resection. This operation involves using a small instrument and electric current to remove prostatic tissue that is squeezing around the urethra and obstructing urine flow. Though effective and safe, T-U-R-P can be associated with long hospital stays and slow recovery times. It carries a certain risk of pain, discomfort, and bleeding. Also common following TURP is retrograde ejaculation, or the backwards flow of sperm into the bladder during climax. Very rarely, troubles with urinary control or incontinence and erectile difficulties can also occur. Because of these potential disadvantages associated with TURP, alternative procedures for treating BPH have been introduced. One such procedure is called photoselective vaporization of the prostate, or PVP for short. Like TURP, PVP is a surgery 
that removes obstructing prostate tissue. Unlike TURP, however, PVP uses a laser, a device that produces a beam of high-energy light to vaporize the enlarged prostatic tissue. Considered by some to be just as effective as traditional TURP, PVP is relatively painless, involves minimal or no bleeding, and has an extremely short recovery period. The high-powered laser used to vaporize the prostate tissue is called the Green Light PV Laser System. Green light is absorbed well by the red pigmented prostate tissue. The entire Green Light PVP procedure takes only about 10 to 30 minutes to perform, depending on the size of the prostate. There are a few things that you can do to prepare for the PVP procedure. First, follow your doctor's instructions on eating, drinking, and taking or avoiding certain medications before the procedure. On the day of surgery, bring a list of all the medications you are taking and any questions you might have. Wear comfortable, loose-fitting clothing and arrange to have a ride home since you will not be allowed to drive for 48 hours or so after the surgery. Your doctor may provide you with additional or different instructions. Consult your doctor if you have any questions or concerns. The PVP procedure is performed in the hospital. The specifics of your situation may differ, and your doctor will review the procedure with you beforehand, but a typical PVP procedure goes something like this. When you first arrive at the hospital, you will be given some paperwork to sign. You will be asked to undress and change into a gown, and you will likely be connected to a device to monitor your heart rate, blood pressure, and pulse. You will have an intravenous or IV line started and will be given anesthetic, medication that blocks the sensation of pain. If you are given a general anesthetic, you will be asleep for the surgery. If you are given a spinal anesthetic, you will remain awake, but the lower half of your body will be numbed. Once you are anesthetized, a special camera called a cystoscope is passed down through the penis and into the bladder, allowing the doctor to view the bladder and prostate on a nearby screen. A thin fiber is then inserted through the cystoscope, delivering laser energy that quickly vaporizes the enlarged prostatic tissue. Because the laser seals the tissue as it vaporizes, there is little or no bleeding. Finally, the surgeon may insert a long flexible tube called a catheter down through your penis and into the bladder. The catheter helps the bladder drain urine and is left in your body for a certain period of time depending on your individual situation. You will likely be allowed to leave the hospital within a few hours after surgery, although overnight hospital stay is sometimes required. You can usually resume normal activities the day after surgery, but you will have to avoid strenuous activity, sexual activity, and heavy lifting for about two weeks. It is recommended that you drink plenty of water and avoid drinking coffee, tea, pop, and alcohol for the first few days following surgery. After laser surgery, it is common for there to be a little bit of blood in the urine, and this is usually relieved by drinking more water. You may also experience some mild burning when urinating, but this should subside in about one to two weeks at most. Frequent urination or an urgency to urinate for the first month following surgery is also normal, and your doctor may suggest some medications to relieve this. Later on after surgery, significant problems are uncommon. The risk of incontinence or leakage of urine is very low. You may need to wear a catheter, the tube inserted into the bladder to help urine drain, for a few days following surgery. If this is the case, your doctor or nurse will teach you how to care for it and remove the catheter yourself. PVP surgery should not affect your ability to have an erection or an orgasm, though something called retrograde ejaculation may occur. During sexual activity, retrograde ejaculation occurs when some sperm flows backwards into the bladder rather than out through the penis during climax. Retrograde ejaculation is harmless but it can decrease the chance of fathering children without assistance. This is not normally an issue for most men undergoing PVP. Finally, it is possible to develop scar tissue at the site of surgery or have some prostate tissue regrow even years later, which may obstruct your urine flow again and require another procedure later on. Contact your doctor immediately 
if you have significant bright red blood in the urine or large blood clots. A small amount of blood at the beginning or the end of the stream is normal. Also call your doctor if you develop a fever over 101 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius, if you have an inability to urinate for more than four hours despite a strong urge to do so, if you have a feeling of bladder fullness that does not go away after urinating, or if you have severe pain at any time. The PVP procedure is generally considered to be very safe and most patients report a very high level of satisfaction. Patients typically experience immediate relief of BPH symptoms and a dramatic improvement in urine flow within 24 hours of the procedure. To summarize, photoselective vaporization of the prostate, or PVP, offers BPH patients an alternative to traditional surgery. PVP uses a laser to vaporize obstructing prostate tissue, allowing urine to flow better. It quickly relieves urinary symptoms, is virtually blood-free and painless, it does not often require catheterization, and it has a very short recovery period and produces long-lasting results. Here are just a few of many resources available to help educate you on BPH and PVP laser treatment. We hope that this program has furthered your understanding of the PVP treatment for BPH. We wish you the best for the future and thank you once again for viewing this educational program.